I'm John Skinner, and this supports my book, Fishing for Summer Flounder, and you can learn more about the book at flounderbook.com. We'll be fishing with two ounce SNS John Skinner fluke bucktails and tsunami glass minnows, the silicone skirt models, and I'll have links to all of the gear in the description of the video. So I'm fishing with Leon Adler, and we're in Shelter Island Sound, and the main purpose of this trip uh, is to shoot drone video of the Long Beach Bar Lighthouse, also known as Bug Light. Uh, Le Leon does some beautiful drone work, and uh, he was doing this to help out the East End Seaport Museum, which runs tours to the light. But Leon's a fisherman, so I said, hey, you know, if we're going to do this drone video, we, we should go out and do some fluke fishing first. So I'm um, trying to put Leon on some fluke. We've been out about 45 minutes, and so far we don't have anything, but that's going to change in a big way. And way in the background, that little speck on the horizon, that's the lighthouse. It's about a mile and a half or two miles from where we are right now. We'll get to that in a bit. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, it could be a big sea bass. Probably got a pair of big sea bass. I know that's what this is. Oh no, look at this. Holy smokes, he fooled me completely. That like never happens. Just completely fooled me. I won't tell anyone. Well, I got it on video. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. You know what? Let's see what you got on there. <laughs> because that one very well could be. Yeah, you know what? That's a that's a fluke and it's a damn nice one at that. In fact, I think this one's going to be better than this one. Yes, it's very, very, very nice. Congratulations, man. Nice job. Wow. What's your personal best? This is it, huh? That is it, my Watch friend. Watch out. Holy shit. Nice. All right. Nice. You see how we're doing nothing, right? And right? then we double. We what, double. What, what's your guess? It's over 10. Okay, so. leave, leave the bucktail in, and we're going to get some pictures with that fish fresh. All right. See, now you wanted to know why I was upset I left my phone in the... In the well, uh, I got a good camera. We're going to... Trust me, we're getting good pictures. We're going to get, them, get these pictures alive, too. Yeah, that's... Uh, I think that's definitely going to be... Let me see what I got here for uh, just a quick... It's like 30 inches. Really? Yeah, it's going to be, that's a 10 pounder. You got a, I have a scale. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. All right, so let's get some uh, slack on this guy. So I'm gonna it. But yeah, I, I think he's going to, he's going to go 10. <clears throat> wow, it's amazing. We dub doubled him up in that spot like that. Yeah. I'm just right, glad so. you that spot. What you want to do, you see, I, I got my... All right, just three ounces shy. It was nine pounds, 13 ounces, but uh, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. Obviously, we went right back up on, those, um, on that mark where we caught those fish, but by then the current speed had increased because we were um, just getting into the outgoing water, and uh, yeah, it went up to like 1719, and uh, we ended up having to get out of there. We couldn't take another fish, not until the current slowed. There you go. Hey, a fluke. Way to go. This could be my new favorite spot. And you know what? That doesn't look bad. That's got some weight and some head shakes. It's a keeper. Boy, after seeing that big one, that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I assume you want meat, right? I saw a cooler. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. yeah. I just give her some slack. So we actually did catch that thing right around 27 feet. So. As my regular viewers know, um, this is only my second season on these waters because I moved recently. And uh, that spot where we caught those fish, that, that big one, 
Yeah, I, I've fished that probably a half a dozen times this particular season, so I'm starting to figure that out. Um, but this spot, which is only maybe a half a mile away, uh, it's usually pr quite crowded. And anybody who fishes this area recognizes the background when I pan over to the right. Um, but with nobody in there, I decided to go in and try to learn something. I mean, the way I looked at it, once that big fish went in the box, wow, we, you know, we really had a successful trip. But we spent some time um, fishing in that, uh, that other spot, which is right behind town. We got some fish. And then uh, as the current started to slow, we went back to where the big one was caught and uh, got back up on that same mark. And a big part of working these waters is to play the current speeds. Uh, you'll get up on some areas where you might have 90 minutes either side of slack water where you have current speeds that are you know, reasonable, like at, at least you know, down below one and a half miles an hour. But then when the current gets rolling, it gets up around two miles an hour. And frankly, I've just never done well under those conditions. But if you make a move, you can find all sorts of eddies and uh, areas of slower current so that's a uh, interesting thing about fish in this area all right so we've made yet one more move and we're working our way towards the lighthouse you got you got a fluke i think yeah yeah that's definitely a fluke. Mm -hmm. any size yeah yeah okay good 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 <laughs> don't do that There you go. He even gave you a short porgy. Oh, wow. He spit you up a short porgy. Let's get some slack. Get a mark. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, butterfish. Sh shot in the net. Right in the net. So it, that's a, a decent sized fish that it swallowed. Yeah. And that fish spit up a decent sized butterfish. We stopped fishing one fish short of the limit uh, because the breeze came up and it was time to get the drone video done. And this is just a teaser. Oh my God, this guy does such beautiful work. Um, yeah, I'm going to link over to the main video that's going to contain the whole history of the lighthouse and it's extremely interesting. But look at this beautiful work and uh, just, you know, great conditions and it, it came out. Well, just what a day. The drone video came out great. Leon got that huge fish and uh, what more can you ask for? Okay, so you've seen the good fishing, and uh, Leon's video will show you all the history of the lighthouse. And well, I'm going to show you how you can anybody can go and do both of these things actually in the same day. Even it's pretty amazing. Um, so this is this is the East End Seaport Museum that I'm walking around. You see that right there, Greenport. This is actually um, a Long Island Railroad train station. Um, that yellow thing, that's the end of the line. Literally, that's the end of the track, and. Uh, we're walking out onto what they call the railroad dock. And here's the Beconic Star Express party boat. And uh, actually this boat is quite fast for a party boat. But the funny thing is the, the fluke fishing that you saw in this video, um, the place where we caught the big one is one mile from where the boat is. And where we caught those smaller ones, the second spot we went to, it's 500 yards from where the boat's docked. So, yeah, the fishing is really, really close. Um, as we work our way uh, up the dock, uh, this boat on the left is uh, an old fire boat from New York City, and it's open for free tours. People can go on and check it out, and it's, uh, it's really kind of cool. And, and that's, you know, part of this town is they've got stuff like this that's uh, real interesting to, to look at and check out. And here's the Beconic Star 2 boat. And both of those Beconic Stars uh, run tours out to the lighthouse. And those tours that are run by the East End Seaport Museum uh, get you into the lighthouse. So that's really neat. And uh, you know what? Uh, I mentioned that you, know, you could take the train here. There's also, uh, if you were coming from the South Fork, this is a ferry that's heading over to Shelter Island. It's a 10-minute ferry, uh, ferry ride. And we see another one coming back from Shelter Island and these boats go back and forth all day long and uh, in addition to the ferry service and the trains there's also a Hampton Jitney uh, bus stop right next to the train station so it's real easy to come out go fishing 
check out the lighthouse and uh, see all the stuff that Greenport has to see. So, hey, if you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel.